China attack Taiwan? Well, Taiwan has lived with this threat for more than 70 years now, with this question. Thankfully, it has remained a threat so far, but there's no saying it won't turn into reality. China's recent actions do not inspire confidence. For the last three days, Chinese jets have been buzzing the Taiwanese airspace, and this is not a small fleet of aircraft. You're talking about 100 planes. Since Friday, China has had close to 100 military plane sorties near Taiwan. On Friday, 38 airplanes flew into Taiwan's air defense zone. On Saturday, the PLA broke that record. They sent in 39 aircraft. And on Sunday, China sent another 16. In all, 93 Chinese aircraft invading Taiwan's airspace within three days, the highest number that Taiwan has seen in a while. Taipei scrambled its jets and deployed missile defense systems in response. Taiwan's premier says China is engaging in military aggression. The United States has expressed concern. It believes Beijing's moves are undermining regional peace and stability. These are alarming developments. China is not just sending planes. It is also developing capabilities to strike Taiwan from multiple directions. Beijing is waging a war on Taipei already, we say, without boots on the ground. And that's what we'll discuss on Gravitas tonight, China's offensive against Taiwan. First, let's talk about the airplanes. Chinese planes have been flying into Taiwanese airspace almost every day now. In fact, Taiwan has been releasing data on Chinese incursions for more than a year now. So we crunched those numbers and this is what we found. Since last year, the PLA, which is the Chinese military, has flown more than 750 sorties of warplanes near Taiwan, 750. 600 of these planes were dispatched this year alone. And these were not harmless, weaponless planes. These were war machines laden with weapons. The PLA has been sending nuclear-capable bombers into Taiwan's air defense zone. That's how much they've escalated it. Flying hundreds of nuclear-capable bombers over Taiwan on a daily basis. Talk about provocation and threats. And this is just one part of the Chinese offensive. There's threat from the sea too. Now, according to estimates, China would need to send as many as 2 million troops to Taiwan for a ground offensive, 2 million. And for that, China would need thousands of ships. Now, no military in the world has that many ships to transport their soldiers. But Beijing has found a workaround. It has passed a law making it mandatory for every transport ship, every ship, to be available for military use. Which means that ship owners in China have had to modify their vessels. They've been equipped with heavy-duty rams so that they can support the weight of armored vehicles. Here is the result of that. China has managed to build what is being called the world's biggest transport fleet. This report says the Chinese... Hey, shalom, shalom, all of praise. Ehana ni glory, etu yehawa, bahashem yehawashai, bahashem lakaha kandash, ene buhana tu zaelda, ene apostles of Gethi Mason who do well. A peace and blessing and salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing this through the whole ends of the heaven and beyond the forefront of the spiritual war, and to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise and he only is again as in the days of old. So it is in news and a prophecy concerning the said war and the insurrection which are going on on the planet. Yes, man. You see, so let, let, let me tackle a first the ongoing. You see, Rumors of war uh, uh, between Moab, man, the two Moabite uh, nations, between uh, Taiwan and, and, and uh, mainland China. So this is a house divided over here, man. Not only East House divided, but this other nation, even uh, Ishmael is divided, Ham is divided. This is the only people who are coming together right now as the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Uh, we are doing what you call nation building uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. So without going any further, let me uh, bring about the uh, Revelation 11 and 14. It says the second war is past, and behold, the said war comes quickly. You see, the second war that was talking about your war two, uh, the said war which is your war three is coming, and the old war three will be uh, uh, via what you call thermonuclear uh, uh, war or exchange in which it will be going on uh, between America and his ally and Russia and his ally, man, including Moab. Moab will be an ally of Russia. So, so hey, man, the said war is coming, man. And the, uh, the said war will culminate 
of avenging the valor of Yahweh's party. So let me get the book of Joel 3, uh, I'll start at verse 1, say, For behold, in those days, in that time, when I shall bring against the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will rest against all nations, and I will bring them down to the valor of Yahweh's party, and I will produce them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, uh, whom they have scattered among the nations and the part of my land actually and the part of my land so as this is a recompense on behalf of the nation of Israel and to this other nation because when you go and look in history even Moab had his party uh, into oppressing the children of Israel man so I mean the Lord I wanna get that revenge you see the Lord you wanna get that revenge against all the nation and, 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 and they will be gathered together in the valley of decision, man. You see, so I mean, the, the war, really war will start over there in the valley of decision. Then it will sp spread the world wide like wildfire. It will be kingdom against kingdom, you see, clan against clan, nation against nation, family against family. It will be class against classes, the upper class and lower class, the middle class or whatever. It will be this race against that race, this bloodline against that bloodline, and all of this will build up uh, to the destruction of America, if you will. So, I mean, from there, let me go to the book of uh, Jeremiah for seven. Let's see. Let me score for seven, you know, for nine, you see. So let me see. Let me see about Moab. There is a prophecy against Moab. I think it is in the book of. So this is the book of Isaiah 48 in verse 4. It says, Moab was destroyed, a little one have caused a cry to be he heard. For in the going of, of Ruthith, continue weeping shall go up. For in the going down of Heroniam, the enemy has heard a cry of destruction. So I mean, even Moab will be destroyed man, via thermonuclear war. Certain part of China, mainland China, certain part of uh, Taiwan, certain part of Australia, they will be hit with uh, nuclear missiles, but the epicenter of destruction will be over there in America. So from here, let's go and uh, listen to another. another there is a lot of finger, finger pointing going, going on, on as the as block the faces block this unprecedented. So this is about the uh, gas price bring energy crisis upon Europe. You see, so this is a dark winter, man. Uh, the coming dark winter was in Europe, and uh, guess who is in control of this uh, natural gas, man? Russia. Russia have a lot of natural gas you can supply to Europe. All day long, and uh, the Edomite in Europe, he's he's still have that that uh, ties with, with, with America. That's why they don't want to get involved with Russia. But when the squeeze get get really really hard, they will turn to Russia, and that's where the enmity uh, really between the European countries and the America will be fueled, man. See. So this is all about the gas price being an energy crisis ravaging upon you, upon you, upon you, upon you, upon, you, upon, you, upon Europe, man. So even Esau, Edom is in stress, man. It's straight. See, Esau, Edom is in stress. Yeah. So let me get the book of Job. Let's see. Let's see, let me get the book of Job 20, 24. Uh, Job 24, I started with verse 1, it says, Why seeing times are not hidden from the Almighty? They know, do they that know him not seize his day? Some remove the landmark, they violently take away frogs and feed theirs. 
they drive away they drive away of the fatherless they take a widow's ox for a pledge and who is this widow man this was going to the nation of Israel man see this was going to the to the nation of Israel man see so let me see let me see So let me get this is that was going to Esau. He Esau's doing. He went to the four corners of the sea, stealing, lobbing the widow, and doing whatever they wanna do. But really, the recompense is coming, man. See. So this is the book of Psalm 10. I will see 15 say, break them. Break though the arm of the wicked, as the evil man seek out his weakness till he though find none. The Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahshua is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of, of, of his land. Pray many, uh, you heathen are going to perish, man. Every last one of them, man. Of you, especially you Edomite, man. You are going to perish forever, man. So you are going to perish forever, and this is just the, the, the start, man. This is just the beginning. Let me get another scripture really quick. Okay, so Esau is in his threat, man. Esau is in his threat. Let's go to the book, to the book of Deuteronomy, Sate. And verse 7 say, And the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, and Shai will put all of these curses upon his enemy and on them that hate thee, which he persecuted thee. You see? So from there, I had another another news I watched another news about the insurrection man see I watched another news about the insurrection see. this one here So there was a lot of insurrection going on in Amsterdam, man. And there was one brother, uh, she, he gave me a report about Amsterdam, man, which is getting down over there, man. Sorry, man, the end is here. So I'm not going to praise that video, see, because it has a lot of COVID, COVID this. You see, so let me go straight to the book of Second Jesus, you see, verse 9, you see. He said, he answered me, then I said, measure those the time diligent in itself. Only those is part of the sign past which I have told thee before. Then those shall understand that at the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen, yes, quick and approve the people in the world. See, approve the people in the world. Then those shall well understand that the most shall speak of those things of the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. See, let me see. They shall not regard their king or princess. See. So this is the book of Second Ezra's 15 and verse 16. It says, For there shall be sedition among many and invading one another. That is going to anarchy, man. See. They shall not regard this is their king nor princess. And the cause of the action he shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And that have been evident in this uh, this year especially uh, in the few months few months from last month to this month there is a lot of restriction i think they want they want to impose interstate you see uh, c19 pass man if we want to go from one state to another we need to show them you got that thing so that will be a fulfillment of second days 15 and 17 a man shall desire to go into a city, shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the house shall be destroyed, and the many shall be afraid. 
a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses which sold and spoil their goods because of the lack of breeding of public tribulation. And I did a lesson yesterday about the coming a hunger game, man. So you can watch that, man. There is a coming hunger game a soon in America, especially in America, man. And it will spread all over, man. And this will lead even to a, a, a cannibalism. So, amen. I hope you brothers will be fighting and uh, it's a lucky for the backing down noise, man. On to the next.